Ryan. Hello, welcome to Pop Along RC. I'm Carl, this is Mark, and this hang is the on, YouTube... Hang on, hang on, Why are you so happy? Why are you so happy? You just had the worst race of your life. <laughs> you, 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 that was the... Honestly, I don't even know what to say about it. But you know honest. what? If I don't laugh at these things, you're going to cry, boss. Wow. Some people take their racing too seriously, and do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's unlucky, and there's... Uh... What you just did. That yeah. was a comedy of errors. I don't even know where to start. I don't know. Do you know what? Ultimately, I've got, I've got to put my hands up and say, yeah. if I'd got that first turn lined up straight, I wouldn't have landed underneath the jump. Yeah, but you did it in front of YouTube royalty, didn't you? Yeah, Kevin Tolbert, the Gavin from RC Kicks, everybody saw it. If hey. no, no one saw me, I was hiding under the jump. Mm, yeah. Than under the jump, yeah. And then, do you know what? I never get angry at marshals because they're just out there doing their job, but they didn't do me any favours, did they? <laughs> no, maybe I had a little word in their ear and went, you know, just you know, oh. we needed a good video and I needed to, we needed some good content. But actually, to be fair, it wasn't staged whatsoever, was it? That was genuine. That was genuine. That was just a bad lap. And and do you know what? Oh, we yeah. say it keep it clean, keep out of trouble, and um. I was in so much trouble there. I was lapped before I'd even finished the first turn. Yeah, you know what? That's that's sometimes the nature of the beast, isn't it? Off the start line, it all goes completely wrong. I did it over at West London, didn't I? And that was first a, to last in one first turn. First to last in one turn, but you never give up. You never give up, and no. you nearly gave up. I, and, no, uh, I did. I said that's my race done. Yeah, and was it done? No. Then I thought, <laughs> do you know what? I'm not really in a race here, but do you know what? Because I'm a kind. Mm caring kind of a guy I thought mm -hmm. I'm going to let Mark experience the Tamiya joy oh I know what you're going to and, say and um, two laps you lasted yeah yeah. you broke the I didn't tamiya. last long I didn't last long no um, you know what we did a little video uh, a while ago about you know I said that Tammy weren't they weren't very good yeah right? I'm not going to swear on the channel or nothing but I just said they weren't very good and uh, I was right, wasn't I? No, you just need to learn to drive them slightly differently. Drive them slightly You can't drive them as aggressively as a buggy. You jumped off the top of the box and flat landed. It's a buggy. It's what they're meant for, ain't it? It's a vintage buggy that never had jumps back in the day. It ran around a nice flat grass field. You know these things. Yeah, maybe. You need to be a little bit more considerate. All right, well, I've learnt my lesson. I've oh, learnt my lesson. Unbelievable. Anyway, have you fixed it yet? I mean, what's happening? What are mm. we doing? Do you know what? what? I think mm. I'm gonna do, I've got some work planned for that car. Now, okay. back in the day, I think it, I'm trying to remember, is an FTD. Well, back in the day, right? Tamiya, when they first released the Super Shot, yeah. um, there's a couple of British engineers that made some race chassis or versions of the Super Shot. So it's kind of like an upgraded a race, race chassis for that car. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with you, man? A, a, a race, a race chassis for for that? Car? No, you serious? I'm serious. If you're interested in that, yeah. do like, subscribe, and follow the journey. That is coming very soon. So if you you've ordered the race chassis for that. I'm car, getting a race chassis right. for the hot shot. Oh, Try something good. a little bit different because, as it was, not very competitive, was it? No. But you know what? It's kind of budget. Uh, on on that vein, right? The budget vein. We've had a complaint come in. We now, do get them occasionally. Do you know what get... this one though? I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel I'm kind of on their side. Basically, it was somebody, and if you're watching, you're kind Fair of point. right. So when we started the channel, we started this with a view to kind of, you know, going with the whole budget racing, getting thing. people into racing, getting people into racing. But we've we've done that. We, we are getting people that. into racing. We have done that. And do you know what? The other night at, when we went to South Cams, is that where South Cams? Somebody come up to us, a nice gentleman. And said his wife hates me and you. We're always, he, we're always because, on. <laughs> because we're always on his telly and his phone. And Hi, also, wifey. he spent so much money because of me and you. On cars. On cars. <laughs> but it's not the budget stuff. It's not, no. no. He's, he's gone down the race specs. Stuff. Yeah, he's gone down the, the old stuff. team associated B6.4 stuff. Um, but hey, uh, nothing to do with us. But look, he, I digress. The thing is, we, you know, we started off the channel with a nice budget kind of vein, didn't we? That we're going to stick with that. But like anything, you start off cheap, don't you? And then it starts to get a little bit wild, a little bit out of control. Yeah, and then you need to check yourself. Yeah. And come back. 
to where it all began. And I keep coming back to Tamiya because that's where it began for me. And you keep mm. smashing them and digging at them. And you need to stop that. Oh, no. It's not fair. Oh, no. So you say you're coming back to Tamiya. What's your plan? What are you saying? What are you doing? Well, I've actually bought two more cars. You've not actually seen these. Well, I can see it there now. Here it is. Okay. So we have here the MO3 that's featured in so many videos in the early days. Can you remember? We got these out of the uh, loft. Actually, should we show a clip? Go on because then. we must have looked young back then. That was when we first yeah, started the channel. Yeah, we first started the channel. I don't even know. The beard was probably a little bit darker. Maybe a little bit oh, shorter. I had less wrinkles. Yeah. Probably had more money back then. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you actually got a car out of your brother's garage, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I went round there and I said, I knocked on his door and went, can I have something? And he went, yeah, whatever you like. And I said, I want your MO3. And he gave it to me. He did. And off the back of that, yeah. we it was during the COVID years, we were heading over to Milton Keynes and had an outdoor track because all the indoor clubs were shot. And we basically were running the MO3s. And it was brilliant. And off the back of that, we went to the Iconic Cup for the first ever time. We, did, we, we lost did. our iconic virgin virginities. <laughs> we did. And uh, that was good, wasn't it? That was fun. And that's the first time we raced on the, uh, a proper outdoors track that was uh, you know made for racing and we were kind of hooked hook line and sinker hook but we wanted to come back we were struggling to get parts for the mo3s because they were becoming more and more um rare yeah. and the parts just weren't available a very popular class that you just couldn't get parts for and this year they've made the announcement that you can now run an MO5. So that's an MO5. This is an MO5. They're still available now. You still buy them new. This one here is not um, is it's not race ready for the Iconic Cup, based on the fact it's got upgraded steering Ackermans and stuff here. Um, there's a couple of other bits as well. So they've just released the rules for the MO5s. What motor can you run? I hear if up to now, a 15 turn in it. Core 15. So this has currently got That's a be Core cool. 21 because the local clubs around here run 21 turn or mm. talk tuned. But going outside, big track, Core 15. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm putting a Core 15 into this. Mm. And because I'll be running up against the MTCs, Frontiers and things at MK. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going you're gonna to put that up against the MTCs? Well, because there is an MTC class over at uh, Milton Keynes... I can test this. Do you like those. losing? Do you like losing? It's all about the end goal, boss. This is just training for me. This is practice what? for the bigger competition. Okay. If I want to win and I want to do well, I didn't just buy one car. What's that then? I bought this one. Look at that. Mm. Now, this here is... Can I, hang on, can I, that actually doesn't, that doesn't look like a Tamiya to me. It is that Tamiya. actually looks like a fairly decent car. Do you know what? This is oh, I'm their. Um, some people. I've not said that. You are. This is their race spec. So this is their MO7R, which stands for race. That looks all right. It race. looks like a cart, and it's got like, it's got carton bits on it to me. But no, let's it's, it's, say these are TRF shocks. Um, runs shorty pack batteries. Mm. It is a nice bit. Can't feel those shocks though. Oh yeah, those TRF shocks are worth a packet though, ain't they? Yep. Yeah. Well, you know what? I actually quite like that. It's quite nice. So Maybe all I've got to do... I might get one. I don't know. I'll see how you lose. Yeah. I'm going to get on first and then I'll probably... I need to um, get yeah. a shell for this because mm. this didn't come with a shell. I've got a shell at home for you. This is a 225 shell. I've got a shell at home for you. got me. a shell at home for me. Yeah. Awesome. Because yeah. okay. I've got this shell here, which um, this is one of the l l shells. Um, painted it up already for the Iconic Cup. Mm. 210. You're very premature. I'm, no, I make plans. Mm. I'm, I'm looking far, far into the future about what I'm going to do over the next year. And the M racing is what I'm all about. I, I love my M. Like, I'm running that at the M MTC Nationals. I do like my M chassis racing. Yeah, you seem to be quite good at that. I have so to. that's what I'm going to explore with. But at the moment, this is set up to 225 length. So mm. what I need to do under here... You can see this uh, blue piece. I need to unscrew four screws, mm. rotate it 180 degrees, screw it back in, and then that is 210, and I'll be able to put this shell genius, mate. on there. That's so genius. I will have my mini ready for 
the uh, iconic comic shit. I'm excited. I've got something to look forward do you know to. What? Do you know what, though? You say the Iconic Cup next year. There is an indoor Iconic Cup. Yeah. I wonder, are they, Winter Series at Chippenham. Are the MO5s allowed in that? Or is I it don't just know. MO3s? Someone who watches, if it is, please put some comments below. John, you watch our videos. John. Can I run my MO5 at Chippenham in the Iconic Cup indoor series? Let him answer. Hey, do you know what else Iconic, uh, um, Iconic RC are doing? They, they've released some t-shirts so have a look they in look the description they look very nice don't they oh, I'm going to get one I'm going to get one I like I like the one the he blue likes one a tight the... one like a little crop top doesn't you yeah it shows off ah oh, that really hurt oh. <laughs> you don't want to do that boss oh. getting old I know but um, no what I was saying is that you know the, the indoor series the winter series we could we could have a go the first one sold out so we can't get on it second one I can't make third one I think it's in January Right. I think we should do that one. Okay. I'll well, race I'll the TTO what, one. Let's book in yeah. before we release this video. Otherwise, it might get <gasps> booked out. Oh, yeah. And then point. we can't actually do it. Oh. So, um, we'll do that. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. All right. So, there you go. A little bit of an update on that. We're nearly at 10,000 subscribers. Now, when we get to 10,000 subscribers, we are going to hold a little bit of a competition. Is it a competition? Was it a giveaway? Or giveaway slash oh, competition know. type thing. And it's going to be very, very good. Somebody could win... It's Tamir again, isn't it? A very, very... It's basically one of the most um, famous cars on YouTube. The fa One of the most famous RC cars on YouTube. And guess who owns it? You. Yes. And that's all I'm saying. But I'm, we're going to let one of you lot have it once we reach 10 thousand subscribers so please help us on this journey it's a slog isn't it this youtube it's, thing we've been going for three years now anyway look there we are so we, there's plenty on our horizon anyway so you're gonna go back to some i'm, grass I'm sticking with my tamia racing yeah. um it is the fun part of the hobby you you keep saying to me come come out with a buggy racing come out do it. i'd love to but i'm not enjoying the buggy racing the car mm. just it's it's not fun I don't mind not winning when I'm running one of these cars, but when you're going to um, a race event with a with what is a top spec buggy and it just can't compete, it's just not the right buggy. It's not the right tool for the job, is no, it? No, I just find that a bit frustrating if I'm honest. So yeah, yeah, yeah. until I get my new LD3, I don't think I'm going to come out buggy racing with you. Fair enough. I would rather come last, laughing at my. Hot shot, mm. then race that TLR. That, that's, that's it. All right, fair enough. Anyway, so a little bit of an update, a few bits that we're doing and whatnot, a few bits for the future. So listen, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, smash the old ding dong bell, and we'll see you again soon.